are going to La Cellier. So I've heard really good things about this. We watched a video together about this here and you got really excited about it. Was that the one where the two guys were in it? Yes. I do remember it. Yeah, so. Um, they had a really expensive steak. That's what I'm going to have. Because it's dining plan, baby. Yes. Yes. So what are you thinking then? So, the filet mignon. Yep. And I wonder whether we should get some poutine to share. Okay, what's that? It's french fries with cheese and gravy. Beef bouillon gravy. That does sound good. Basically, chips, cheese and gravy. And then we can get some Brussels sprouts as well. Brussels sprouts? No. See, I'm thinking either the ribeye steak or the steak and fritz. Steak and little french fries. French fries. If you get steak and frites, then and we get poutine, then you're going to have double French fries. Does that matter to you? I don't know whether I've not read enough, and it doesn't tell me. But it doesn't tell me. Oh, what, how big they are? No. It okay. Say. I'm sure it you can ask. Our lovely Zoe, who's been flown in specially for us from, from Quebec. Yeah. Our Zoe. So I'm going to ask her, and then I'm going to make a decision based on what she tells me. Okay. You decided what drink you're gonna have. Not yet, but I have opted for the ribeye because it was the biggest. Yep. I don't really drink that much alcohol, to be honest. Um, I think cocktails are sweet, and with your dinner, if I'm drinking something that's quite sweet and eating something that's savoury, it's a bit of a mixed thing for me. You so, don't, but you drink soda. That's true, actually. Yeah? That's true, I suppose lemon, lemonade, coke is sweet. Yeah. No, I get that. But I think it's just the alcohol. Oh, who's fancy? Well, you know. You know. Just needs a little umbrella. I think your shirt is like the umbrella of the drink. That's a very tasty cocktail. Is it? Yeah, really good. Can you try some? Yes, please. Oh no, it's got pineapple juice in it. Can't have any. Thanks though. Mine looks very nice, but slightly less exciting. That's what we're eating. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That looks like a meal on its own. Wow. That is so rich. Describe the poutine. It's so tasty. Honestly, this is incredible. Really? The beef is really tender. The sauce is too um, salty. The chips are really well cooked. They're really crispy and really fluffy on the inside. It's just a really, really good dish. Highly recommend this. So this is the filet mignon. That's eight ounce, that is. I think I'm still going to struggle with that. It looks good. Yeah. You had it cooked medium, didn't you? Yes. Looking forward to it? Yes. Is the ribeye. So this is, I mean like compared to the size of my hand, it actually doesn't look that big, but it actually it's is. Huge. Right. I've got like sniffing nose. Yeah. Like bunged up nose from all the meat. Really tasty. I think yours was tasty. Mine was really tasty. And yours was seasoned so nice. And uh, George enjoyed his steak so much that he looked angry with it. <laughs> every, every time he took a bite, I looked up and he was like... Mm. So when he first saw me, I'm like, are you not happy? He's like... I'm trying to think whether this might be the best steak I've ever had. What would you give your steak out of 10? And what would you say to someone thinking of ordering it? So I would give mine an 8.5 out of 10. It would have been a 9, but I went for medium. And I should have gone for medium. I think it would have been a little less dry. The woman did say that that's what the chef would have re the recommended. Chef medium rare, but for some reason my gut was saying to go for medium, so I did. And it was absolutely delicious. But it was just a little bit. And this is not really a criticism because it was so tasty. But to make it even tastier, even better, I would have gone for medium rare because it would have been a little bit juicy. How about you? My steak is probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. 
<laughs> Thank you. It was slightly on the fatty side, but it was a ribeye. The seasoning, the way it was cooked, it was like really crispy on the top. It was really, really juicy in the middle, but I had it medium rare. It was just perfect. Um, really tender, really juicy. I could almost pull it apart as well. What would you give it out of 10? I'd probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. Wow! It was only because of the, the little bits of fat that I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. That's major steak score. Yeah. How do you feel now after you've eaten it? I feel quite full up. If you're thinking of ordering that, it is quite big. Um, I just about managed it. But if you're thinking of ordering it and you've got the appetite, go for it because you will not regret it. Yeah, wait, wait. Nah. Yeah, hungry chicken. Wow, that does look amazing. Oh. Try a bite. Oh. I want to see your little face. <laughs> what a joker. They're nice. Yeah. I'm going to make an arty. Are you ready? Arty? Yeah, come down. George has ordered the creme brulee. That looks well nice. Okay, let's try it. Has it got a good crispiness to it? Yeah, oh, it has. Yeah. Very. It smells very maple. Does it? It's nice. Yeah? It's not, it's not too sweet either, which sometimes can be nice. Can I try some?
As a part of our celebration of American independence, we invite you to enjoy a special 4th of July pyrotechnic salute. Let's get a melt!